Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about an article called Cloud Computing, which is into the classroom, but not without challenges. It's about something called cloud computing, which I had no idea about until I was reading this article and doing some researching on. Um, it's pretty much just how students are learning online and all the different platforms that they're learning on and all the different platforms that student or teachers and students are using and things like that. And it's pretty much just been changing the whole way that students are learning because um, it's not all like textbooks anymore. It's a lot online, but most of it is like teachers are more becoming the facilitators or the coaches for students learning. So instead of them just being like, here's all the information on the board, here's all the information from the book, students are able to go and they're able to look up their own information online and students and the teachers are able to like help them find their sources and find the information and everything. So teachers are able to say, here's the assignment, let's go research it, let's go find the information. And so children are becoming more active, participate, active participants in their learning and becoming more interested. Um, and so teachers can sign assignments throughout the day and they can have like immediate feedback. Um, the students can see whatever lessons they're getting all the time and the teachers can see what the students are doing all the time. There's different like screen sharing things that they can have on when they have like the Chromebooks in their classrooms too. Um, and also, there's a bunch of different platforms for the students and teachers to use. Um, you've maybe heard of them. There's Khan Academy, Duolingo, Crash Course, or just a few of them. And I know there's a couple, I don't know the names of them, that are the little like behavior monitoring ones too that some teachers are using. But um, those ones are all assignment ones where the where the teachers can send out assignments to the students and they can all go on and they do the assignments and then it sends it back to the teacher and says okay the student did them and then they just go back and forth through, through the through the platform it's really interesting <laughs> and so what they're also saying too is since there's so many different platforms and so many different things that the students and teachers are needing to use and everything that um, they're finding that they teachers really want there to be like one solid platform where they log into and everything's on one. So they're kind of coming to say that there's a big market for some company to come out there and come up with something and just make a bunch of money. And um because they don't, the teachers don't want to make things too complicated for their parents and too complicated for their students. They just kind of want to have one place to start at the beginning of the day and say, okay, here's where we're starting. And then we can go from here to our different platform. We don't want to have to like log into this and then log out and then log into this and log out. And so, so hopefully someday they'll figure it out and whatever. But overall, this article is kind of saying that the schools are moving into the 21st century of learning and kind of teaching has to follow, you know, we need to start giving children computers because that's what they're going to be doing in high school and in college and in the workforce. They're going to have to know how to use computers. They're going to have to know how to go online, how to search for things, how to figure everything out on their own. And, um, it's also saying that every school is going to have to start having computers, whether they have a cart where everyone shares the computers or where every classroom has their own set of computers. They're just going to have to figure that out on funding or something. So, um, overall, I think it's really an interesting article. I think that I will obviously be using that in my classroom. It seems like within like three to five years, 
that is going to be really important. Computers are going to be huge. I will probably be using a lot of different online courses in my classroom, especially depending on what age I get placed with. If they're older, I'll be using a lot of different computer techniques and platforms and all different things. So yeah, that's my video. Thanks for watching.